Also new at 11, a crook who police say targeted senior citizens. Milford insurance agent Gregory Oliver is now going to jail for stealing more than $1 million. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller spoke to a family who fell victim to the agent. Now they want to warn others. The woman I spoke with says her cousins and their deceased mother were taken for roughly $300,000. She says she reached out to the attorneys here at Pro Seniors who are trying to help them recover what was stolen. Before being sentenced Monday, Gregory Oliver worked here at his Milford base insurance agency, Oliver Financial Services. My aunt, who is deceased, she referred to him as her financial advisor. Investigators in Claremont County discovered that Oliver was doing more than advising. From 2011 to 2018, they say he took more than $1.1 million from his clients through fraud and coercion. Kathy Rolfes is related to three of Oliver's 18 victims. Her aunt passed away before Oliver was arrested. She trusted him as if he were her son. I mean, he he attended her funeral. He just, um, you know, kind of presented himself as a member of the family. But he wasn't. Rafa says he was a con artist. He really um, put himself in a position of being the her power of attorney, her executor. He transferred the title of her house into his name and put it in an irrevocable trust. Rolfus was at the hearing Monday when Oliver was sentenced to nine years in prison. I do feel like justice was served. Miriam Sheline is the managing attorney at Pro Seniors, the nonprofit organization helping Kathy's family fight to recover what Oliver took. Sheline says the financial exploitation of seniors is all too common. Always verify you. This individual, he was a family friend for many years. And yet, you know, he was doing lots of improper things. Um, you cannot trust someone to the point of just turning over control of everything with regard to your finances. She says the best protection is prevention. Once it's out the door, it's very hard to get it back. Oliver was ordered to pay more than $990,000 in restitution to all of his victims. The attorneys that are working with Kathy's cousin, they filed some civil lawsuits to try and help to recoup some, if not all, of the money that was stolen. For now in Cincinnati, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News. Whitney, thank you. For more information, by the way, on how you can prevent these types of crimes, visit this story on WCPO.com.